What happens if you overstay your visa? Well, it's not necessarily game over because there's a period of overstaying which is disregarded. And we're gonna deal in, in this video with exactly what the time frame looks like and a diagram uh, to help you, which is shown here. So on this diagram, this is a typical uh, scenario that I come across. There is an in-time application for a visa so you're in the UK, you make an application to extend your visa. That application is made in time. In other words, before the expiry of your current visa. So you make that application in time. So then there's a period before the, uh, your original visa expires. Now the UK immigration law recognizes that there's situations in which you apply for a visa and a decision is not uh, made before your current visa expires. And the mechanism to deal with that is in um, Section 3C of the Immigration Act. And the effect of it is that while you're waiting for a decision on that visa application that you've made, on your extension, then your current permission is extended. And it could be extended for a very long time. It could be extended for a year, for example, if you don't uh, get a decision for a year. And in some cases, I can tell you it is um, extended for a year or more uh, because of delays, particularly, let's say, in human rights uh, applications. But in most applications, you can expect a decision within an, a number of, of uh, uh, weeks. Now, so in this, in this diagram, you can see we've got the visa expiry date and then there's a period of this Section 3C permission, Section 3C leave, as they call it, before a decision is made. Now, here the decision is a refusal. So what happens then? You've made an in-time application, the visa, your current visa has expired, and then there's a refusal. Well, you get a period during which you can apply for administrative review. Yeah, if an administrative review is available in in your case, let's assume for these uh, for these purposes that it is it is available. Then you have that fourteen days during which you can apply for an administrative review, and during this time, this Section Three C uh, permission is it, uh, continues. But let's say you don't uh, apply for the administrative review, and the ex uh, expiry for the time limit for administrative review um, uh, takes place. So that period comes to an end. At that point, you will become an overstayer. So what happens then? Well, there is a uh, provision um, if you're making a, a new application after that point. And usually the provision will look like this. It depends on the immigration route. Of course, advice needs to be taken on, um, on your individual circumstances. But usually there'll be a provision to this effect. If you're um, seeking leave to remain, then you must not be in the UK in breach of immigration laws, except that where paragraph 39E of these rules applies, and we'll come to that in a second, any current period of overstaying will be disregarded. And what that says is this, that this paragraph, section 39E, applies where the app application was made um, within 14 days of the applicant's leave expiring and the Secretary of State considers there was a good reason beyond the control of the applicant or their representative uh, provided in or with the application why the application could not be made in time um, or the application, this is the point that I'm coming to, or the um, application was made following the refusal or rejection of a previous application for leave which was made in time, that's precisely our scenario, and within 14 days of the refusal or rejection of the previous application or the expiry of any leave extended by 3C of the uh, Immigration Act or the expiry of the uh, time limit for making an in-time application for administrative review. Now that's what we're looking at here. So the, the time limit for making an in-time application for administrative review um, has expired. So it's within 14 days of that. So this is the period, the 14 days uh, period, after the expiry of the time limit for, for admin review. So at that point, you are overstaying, but that current period of overstaying will be disregarded. What about after that point? 
Well, after that point, your overstaying will not be disregarded. So that's when you're, you know, into the red, and that that's where you you know there'll be there'll be grounds for for refusing your your visa. So, um, what what are the key takeaways from this? Well, clearly, you know, t timing is is critical. If you're if you're in this situation, if you get a refusal, you should take advice immediately. There are so many different variations. Um, and different scenarios which can, can flow from that. And this is where immigration law gets really, really complex. Um, but this is one scenario that I hope uh, hopefully illustrates um, how the different time, uh, timelines uh, can come in. As I say, if you, if you have overstayed, then it's not necessarily a game over, as it were. There is that uh, period that can be disregarded. And uh, yeah, suffice it to say, Take advice on your circumstances. I have a consultation uh, call service. You can get that on the link below. Thanks and bye for now.